Yes, uh, so once we're menopausal, uh, hormone replacement is a topic that I could talk to you about for two days uh, by itself. Um, but should you take it, really up to you. Um, is it safe? For most patients, yes. So uh, some of you may remember in 2002, uh, the big gigantic study called the Women's Health Initiative was published and um, really kind of set us back as far as uh, uh, understanding how hormones work. It was very uh, poorly reported and vastly misunderstood and kind of swung way in the direction of stopping hormones altogether for a lot of women who needed them. Um, I remember reading on the front page of the day it came out that um, estrogen causes cancer. It was like in big letters, which is, which is very unfortunate because that wasn't exactly true. Uh, you know, what we did learn from that study is that um, estrogen products do very, very slightly increase the risk of breast cancer with long-term use and also very slightly increase the risk of some other uh, disease processes like blood clot, heart disease, and stroke, but, you know, minimally and especially very minimally in healthy patients who are at low risk for those diseases. So I take hormone replacement. I recommend it for most patients, but of course we screen them for those particular um, reasons why they would be at higher risk. Um, what type to take, that's a long conversation too, but the short version is that um, after many, many small studies done after the Women's Health, Health Initiative, it seems to be clear that using a transdermal type of uh, hormone delivery process is, uh, is preferable. Um, when we put hormones on our skin, they're absorbed directly into our bloodstream, so it doesn't go through our liver, which can cause some of the issues that we've seen with oral um, uh, applications. And then using a hormone that's um, identical biologically to human estrogen, so Premarin, which is the product that was studied in that uh, large study that I mentioned, um, Many of us don't know where it comes from. Uh, Premarin is pregnant mare's urine. Um, is anyone surprised to hear that? Like, yeah, I, when I found out about that, I was like almost fell over. Um, I, I, I don't even need to tell you how they get it, but it's not nice to animals. And it also is not a product that's biologically identical to human estrogen. It works really well to relieve symptoms, but um, there's no reason to uh, harm animals when we can come up with a biologically identical product in the lab. Um, so um, there's a lot of words that are thrown around uh, that are marketing terms like natural versus synthetic or plant-based or um, other terms that are really just uh, marketing terms. But all, all hormones are uh, synthetic. They're, they're generated in the lab to look like human estrogen, but some of them do come from a plant source. So uh, where it comes from, I think, is not particularly important as long as we're not harming animals. Uh, but we want to use a bio, in my opinion, a, a bioidentical hormone that is transdermally applied, and there's a lot of products out there that meet that um, criteria. And uh, many of them you can get from CVS or Walgreens. You don't have to go to a really expensive compounding pharmacy. Uh, you can, but um, the, the products are available for us in the form of a patch or a cream, um, you know, readily from any pharmacy now. So.